Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and in today's video I want to share with you two things that I learned from Grant Cardone when it comes to building a successful network marketing team. Now I learned these two lessons because I'm still reading the book Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. If you do not have that book, I highly suggest that you pick up a copy and read it. I have the link um, to get it on Amazon down in the video description. Now the two things that I learned is number one, you know, Grant's not in network marketing, obviously, but, you know, he's built a very successful sales team. And one thing that I learned in the book, and he has a chapter devoted to how you really build a successful sales team. And Grant really struggled in the beginning when he was getting his business off the ground. He was a one-man game. And <clears throat> he realized the power when he started hiring people that it leveraged his time so that he could focus on income producing activities. So one thing you have to be aware of is as you're building your home business, there's this tendency that to save money, you know, we have to do everything ourselves. And a lot of times free becomes the most expensive because you're taking away valuable time that you should be devoting to your income producing activities which is building an audience and engaging your audience okay so you have to be spending time doing those activities while prospecting okay and so you know what you can get bogged down into this little minutia of these little things with building a sales funnel or building a website or setting up an autoresponder um, there's a lot of little moving parts that you can get distracted with and so if there are things in your business okay as you're building your business that involves technology that is not your strong suit don't spend a lot of time doing that you can go to places like Fiverr and outsource or hire a virtual assistant for you know very inexpensively to do those tasks for you so it's not eating up so much of your time so that's takeaway number one takeaway number two is grant took you know he goes through a lot of turnover with the salespeople okay and he went through a lot of it in the beginning and grant says that you know you're gonna have to expect turnover because the mentality of the culture is average and there's also this sense of entitlement where people when they get hired they're expected they want to know how much I'm going to be making how much vacation am I getting and am I getting my annual raises cost of living raises Grant never gives out any cost of living raises I thought that was very interesting he and, he, and his rationale is in the book and actually it's a pretty powerful quote he says I don't he doesn't pay raises but he gives out bonuses quarterly to every every employee and this is what he says I pay a bonus when you get the company a bonus the same way the world pays me so when he's out and recruit you know getting people he's recruiting people and he's going through a lot of people and so he's always hiring and looking for new talent and so what does that mean for you as a network marketer you gotta be prospecting every day you gotta be looking at adding people to your pipeline growing your organization growing your um, customer base growing your distributor base okay because the customer base and the distributor base if you create a good culture and providing value okay you're gonna wind up really building that long-term residual income and you're also building the leverage where you have team members working for you now what Grant says is that there's gonna be you know you're gonna go through a, he calls it a lot of garbage before you find the diamonds in the rough okay and that's going to mean too as you're building your network marketing business you're going to go through a lot of no's you're going to wind up getting a lot of people who are going to quit okay they're going to have good intentions but they're going to quit and one of the things that i learned in the, in reading this chapter when he's talking about building a team is that you have to be upfront and honest and it starts with you and so he lays out you know when he talks to people he's always talking to people he doesn't sit there and does a lot of hiring 
you know, just on social media. He's actually on the phone or meeting with them face to face. And that's what you have to do too here with your network marketing business, the importance of, of having that personal verbal interaction, whether it's a Zoom or a Skype call, or you are talking on the phone because the one thing grant says is, is you have to pick up on some intangibles are they going to add to the culture and value of your vision of where you want to go with your business okay you just don't want to recruit just anybody you know you want to recruit people who are going to who believe in your vision you know you want to be looking for people who are looking for you and sometimes People are not going to be, you know, people might bring their drama. People are going to be in this, a lot of them that you're going to, you know, approach and prospect are going to be in this entitlement mentality. And nothing burns me more, you know, in the network marketing profession is when people come and they say, and I see this all the time on social media, is we'll build it for you you know we've got this spillover you hear this in, in the compensation plans you don't have to do any work you know baloney all right you get rewarded by the work that you do that's what network marketing is okay you are getting rewarded for the work and activities that you are doing and it's the income producing activity so if you're getting you're getting people in and they're buying the product they're consuming the product you're getting them on the auto ship you have them become a rep and they're out doing activities to bring in more people and bringing in revenue then they get paid you get paid on the work okay when you say these things with spillover and you know you don't have to do anything what that's doing is it's feeding into that mentality yeah they're gonna sign up but they're not gonna work okay and that's dead weight and that and what and that's one thing I learned from Grant too is Grant's looking you know and the reason he says he's always out and hiring people is that he wants to you know he's always looking and getting rid of the people who are not producing okay every single person that goes into his you know that works for him they are working on getting uh, doing things that are going to make the company money and make revenue even with the IT department and I, I this was a real cool story he says you know I I put bonuses on my IT department you know those who are sitting there and they're creating you know doing the coding they're doing the the design you know he doesn't want them sitting there taking time at you know so much time doing a project so he has a deadline expect it to have it done by that deadline and if they get it done by that deadline and it is successful they get paid they get paid a bonus okay so that is what he does and it's all based around you know you've got to put forth the work so when you're talking with people and you're prospecting you have to be upfront and honest you know telling them that you know if you're to do this, you're going to have to put forth work. You're going, you know, you can't sit back and rest on your laurels and expect to get paid. It's based on the work that you do. And if you are prospecting and, and finding out what they want, what their hopes and dreams are, and you're framing it that way, they're going to want to work. They're going to want to buy into your vision. And that's why it all comes down to you and who you are, what do you stand for, how do you want to make an impact in the world, who do you want to help and if you keep that in mind you're going to attract the right people to you and after I'm done with this book I'm going to be reading a book on network marketing leadership that was just released by Ray Higdon and he expands on this a little bit more when it comes to really building a network marketing culture so this was a really great book um, so you can understand how Grant thinks and processes on how he builds a team and those were some key points for me that really helped me as far as, okay, I have to be out there prospecting every day. I have to be honest with who I'm talking to every day. And I have to have, and it starts with me. So there you have it, my friends. I hope you found this valuable today. If you did, leave a comment and share. If you didn't get a copy of Grant's book, it's available on Amazon. You can get it in hardcover. You can get it on Kindle, and you can also get it on Audible. I have the link to Amazon right below in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.